Hi guys, my name is Fi Fi and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Alright, today I've got a little plan today. We are going to build a little outpost in the Crystal Caves because I want to explore it more and I think we need a little outpost there apart, apart so we don't have to keep coming back here. Nearly couldn't say it then. But also what we're going to do we're going to attack this leviathan. I've had enough of this shadow leviathan. We're going to do it. We're going to attack this leviathan. And to do that, I've got gas torpedoes. But not just for gas torpedoes. I've got multiple gas torpedoes. And I want to see if we can actually do some damage to this uh, shadow leviathan. If we can kill it, great. If we can't, yeah, it's, a, it's an experiment. So, I've been making, well, I've been getting the materials to build a few rooms in the Crystal Caves. And I've got over there, as you can see, a quantum chest. It doesn't have much storage, but that should allow me to access um, that them materials wherever I want. Unfortunately, you can't pull it in your base. But I've got another one on me. So when we go to the crystal caves, we can access it there. And I've got all these materials here, here, and in here. So it's only gonna be a small outpost. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight to it. You can see what I plan to build when we get there. So crystal caves, we have to find. Have I got a beacon for the crystal caves? I don't. That's fine, we use this one anyway. And once we get there, we'll start building this uh, base and then we'll go and trap, well not trap the Leviathan, but we'll stand in the place where the Leviathan can't get us and bombard it with uh, gas torpedoes. So I will see you guys in a sec. Okay, we are entering the Crystal Caves again. Right, so we're gonna build this base not too close to the Shadow Leviathan because I don't want to die. I don't want it to get destroyed. I think around here should be okay. So we're going to start with um, a large room. Have I got enough? I should have enough for a hatch as well. So where should we start it? Where can we put it first? Okay, we can put it there, but I feel like that's a bit too close. Maybe like that. That shouldn't be too bad. We'll get a hatch in here. And to power this, eventually I want to get the thermal vents that are down there. Which there's a massive thermal vent down there that goes up to about 80 degrees, which is pretty damn good. Um, but for now, we're going to use a nuclear reactor. So let's get the blueprint for that. And oh, I have everything on me. Nice. So let's get life support done. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. That's fine. We're about to solve that problem. And we'll put that like that. And there's 2,500 power. Oh, okay. And I have a rod. One rod should be enough. For now. And that's our... All primary systems online. That's the start of our outpost in the shadow... Or oh, shadow of life. And in shadow... Uh, I keep on saying shadow. In the crystal caves. Okay, so I want to get a scanner room because... I used the scanner room on my old base. 
not my old base, my current base. And with the hood scanner thingamajiggy, it is really useful to find materials quite quickly. I like to use this one as well, just so if I do want to expand either way, it allows me to. And I am going to build that there. I have no more titanium. Okay. So, I want to get the main things down first. Before I run out of materials. Let's link. Um, right. So, I want a scanner room. And I want a moon pool. Now, I've got enough for a moon pool right there. And I've got enough for a scanner room. Let's quickly make the moon pool. That will help with um, recharging and all that jazz. Oh, I can't put it there. That is not good. Where can I put you? Oh, I seem so slow. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, I might have to pull it up. Oh, I really wish it would go there. Okay, let's pull it here for now. And then I'm... Oh. What's that? Oh. Oh, this place is filling up. That is fine. We will deal with that. I need to get um, this quantum thing out so we can build some reinforcements. Okay, where did I put it? That, I need some titanium. So I want to make sure I've got at least five titanium for the um, for the scanner room. And because we're so low under here, you know what? Let me just have I got any lithium on me? Let me just put this down before my thing ends up breaking. Oh, I don't have any lithium. Damn. What about... Oh, this place is damaged as well. Uh, okay. Let's quickly go and get some lithium. First, we need to eat. And I think there's some lithium around here. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my building, to be honest. Because that would be Vital signs a major rising. waste of materials. be some lithium but right, I'm gonna quickly find some lithium and I will be back okay I quickly managed to do it oh that was scary um, let's repair everything now so I found one piece of lithium and just put one uh, one reinforcement on it so my whole strength at the moment is literally 1.1. Any more damage onto it, any more full integrity loss on it, and it would not be able to hold. Right, let's get my breath back. So I think, 
I didn't realize because this is so close, this still counts as part of my base. Let's see. Yeah, because this one's draining as well. I think. No, maybe it's not draining. Okay. So yeah, we gotta be very careful with that. Um, I would need to make sure to try and get at least one more lithium and reinforce it just one more time, just to be on the safe side. So I found the lithium up here. Let's see if we can find some more. Alright, so I managed to get a few bits of lithium, which is great. So just to be on the safe side, let's put um, some more reinforcement down. It does take up a lot of the, um, the titanium that I wanted, but you know what, this is worth it. Right, so now our hall integrity is 15. That shouldn't be too bad. Now let's continue connecting some of these pieces together. So I'm gonna get the scanner room up here. And hopefully that should be... Okay, it's going down by 0.7. It's not too bad. Um, how do I want that? Do I want that like that? Or do I want another one of these? Let's do that. No titanium. Luckily, there's a lot of uh, titanium nodes around here. And I've got my mining. So I can easily mine what I need to mine. I can easily mine some titanium and carry on with the construction. Which I should not, I should not need to go back too soon. Hmm, can I not fit on there? No, I don't think it can. I think it needs to go up one. So let's get that up by one. And try again. Just want to be very careful with this board integrity. Still doesn't seem to work. Ah, there we go. Maybe I just didn't rotate it. But that's fine. This is a good enough way to do it. Just need that gold. I should have everything else. There you go. So, once I connect my moon pool, then it'll be pretty much, okay, he's hungry. It'll be pretty much done. So this is pretty much what I wanna do. Um, in here, I wanna have some sort of life support. So, maybe some food and some, and a, a fabricator. How much titanium have I got on me? One, great. So I'm gonna need to do a bit of titanium farming. And I think we should be done after that. I think it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm gonna quickly just go and grab some titanium and see what we can do. Let me, I'm gonna have to take all of these out, ain't I? Ah, that's fine, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've mined two uh, titanium nodes and I've got this much titanium. No, it doesn't seem that much, but it should be enough. And I had to make this chest because I was just carrying too much. Okay, so 
we need to make a connection between these two which should not be too hard and we've got a shadow leviathan behind us so don't need to worry about that does that work and then we put one of these bad boys in the middle look at that perfect so now we have a connection Welcome aboard, to Captain. oh I need a ladder that might help I forgot about ladders <clears throat> excuse my voice uh, there we go I wish you could rotate the ladders because that's in such an awkward position okay I can climb it from there okay that's all right then it still is an awkward position Okay, I guess we need a ladder over here then. And there we go. Up to our scanner room. 300 meters of searching. And what can I search around here? Fragments, magnetite, lithium, kyanite. Lovely. So if I put magnetite, how much, how many have we got around here? Oh, you know what, I can build some cameras and explore this place. But I'm sure the Shadow Leviathan will not like it. Okay, we've got one. Where is that one? Now we've got a few. I'm going to need to build upgrades to speed up the, um, speed up the process. So as you can see now, if we get out of here, I can go and see Magnetite. There's two over there. And once I increase the range, it should be able to reach all the way down there. We've got the Shadow Leviathan there. And yeah, happy days. So we just need to build the last little bits. I'm going to turn off this scanner because no point wasting power. Because I don't need to farm anything just yet. And there seems to be quite a lot around. Enough anyway. All right, let's turn that off. Let's put a fabricator around. Uh, where do we want this? We want this here. Because I can't put glass here. Uh, what do I need? Copper ore and quartz. Do I have that in here? I have the copper ore. And two quartz. Now, I don't have that in here, do I? No, don't have anything in there. So it should be, I should have some stuff in here. Yep, yeah, got loads of stuff. Anything in here? Yep. Take that out. Anything in here? Nope, nope, and nope. So that's all the materials I have at the moment. And I may make multiple entrances into this space. <laughs> it just it just will be a little bit easier. So there's that. I want to make a grow bed. So we've got food here. Uh, that can go here. And let's plant these two. So we've definitely got food around here. We can make stuff. We've got power. What else do I need? I do want to, I don't think I've got enough quartz. I do want to make some glass for the scanner room. And I also need to make upgrades for the scanner room. Now I don't know what them upgrades consist of. I did upgrade my, my main base scanner room with a free range upgrade and a speed upgrade. I completely forgot. So I've got that. I need gold and silver for speed and copper and magnetite for range. So if I can get free copper and free magnetite, that will increase the range by a nice amount. Well, I can do two. I don't have any gold though. 
so I'd like to have the speed one. At least one of them. It does make it a little bit faster. But let's get the range done. Let's get two of these. And each range increases it by 50 meters. So that's an extra 100 meters on the range. So that should be 400 now. And you can see, we can see a lot more. So I'm here. That's the big bit at the bottom there. There's a heat place down there that I want to use as well for a thermal re uh, reactor. Right, and I think for now, that's all I need to do. Um, there was a few things I did last episode, not last episode, in between episodes that I haven't talked about yet. So I increased the range of the sea truck to a thousand. We can go and check that out quickly. So as you see, I got to get into it. Now you see it's a thousand now. So that's the last upgrade. I've got the Mark III upgrade. And as well as these swim charge fins, fins, which charge my batteries as I swim, which is great. Like, why not? But I don't know if it gives me extra swim speed. But right now, we are going to test how much damage we can do to this um, to this Leviathan. How much health has this got? I do need to get the Mark III for this one. Hmm, it's not got much health. Let's uh, put you in here and sort you out a bit. So upgrades. We need that one. We need to, can we access it from here? Oh, I'm gonna have to drop down there, but I know. Uh, they should be, they should make it so you can, uh, wait, wait, no. Uh, let's repair you. And then, We are going to load you with torpedoes. How many can go in? So six at a time. Mm. All right. So I've loaded six gas torpedoes. Let's save it quickly and go see what we can do to this Leviathan. Right, so I want to trap it in here. Let me get up in here first. I want to bring it here. Oh, that thing is going to try and hit me, isn't it? so that I can start shooting it. It seems to be chasing it. That did, did it do anything? Hello? Okay, he's, he's gone for walkabouts at the moment. So I wanna take this drill piece off. So I can just wire waiting around, pick up some things. Oh, there's loads of lithium here. Infantry four. Okay, are you coming? Yep, he's coming. Ow. All right. I fired one. Two. He seems to come back here. Where are you? Well, that's a big drop. I haven't got any more torpedoes. 
Oh, that was weird. Is actually doing anything. I feel like it does nothing. All right, let's repair this. Oh, nearly killed me there. Torpedoes restocked. Come on. I can't see that high. He's over there still. Can I restock more torpedoes? Yep. Got to wait for him to come back round. It's all about the waiting game, isn't it? Right, I think he's coming. Oh, he comes from up there. Uh. Yep. Yeah. I feel like these torpedoes Calorie intake recommended. do jack. He seems to be running away though. I've got an eat. I haven't got need more calories. Alright. Why while we wait for him to come back? Let's repair this one more time. I th I think we'll have one more go at this. And see if this actually does anything. He comes from up here. So we're just gonna wait a little bit. When we hear a scream, it means he's around. That's that's the scream. See what's happening. Run out of torpedoes. Oh wow, that hurts me as well. No more. No more torpedoes there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that does anything. Okay. And you got this one trying to hit me from behind. Okay, so we can leave that as that. He's still live and well, live and kicking. So I think on a, um, on this Leviathan, it might be better to use the Vortex torpedoes to push him away uh, while you're doing your exploring. So, have I got any food? I do in my sea truck.
So I think what we can do Vital now then stabilizing. is oh I got hurt quite a bit then I is make some vortex torpedoes and look around a bit, look around the sea caves uh, and see what we can find. Right, I think I need magnetite. And you know what that calls for? It calls for glass being put on the scanner room. And also, right, cool, that's done. Let's look for a magnetite while that's loading up. Let's see if we can make some glass. Because that would be lovely if we could. I think we only need to make one glass, so two quartz. Oh, I've only got one quartz. Was there another one? I've only got one. Let's quickly get another quartz. I know there's one round here. Uh, let's grab the magnetite wire right here as well. Why not? It's so hard to see magnetite. Come on, there's got to be a quartz around there somewhere. Uh, there's one. All right, so yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to grab some magnetite. We're going to make some vortex torpedoes. And I am going to search around these crystal caves. Because I don't think I've searched them as near enough as I need to. Oh, kyanite. Yes, we need. I need to make a fabricator. Not a fabricator. A... Look how hard this is to see. That's impossible. A, um... You know the advanced fabricator? I can't remember what it's called. But I need to make that so I can make another depth module for my uh, pawn suit. Oh, look, there's loads of magnetite over there. Oh, need glass. How much glass do I need? Just one glass. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Where are you? There we go. Don't know why it's so bright in here. All right, quickly get the glass out there. We can turn off this um uh the scanner room now because don't really need the magnetite anymore. Not for now, anyway. All right. Can turn you off. And what is it for the speed module? Gold and silver, okay. All right, um, you're doing fine. And how much is it to make this thing in Majiggy? What is it called? A modification station. Oh, yeah, that stuff I don't have. Not here. And I can't be asked to go all the way back. So I will do that another time. Don't need anything else here. I would like to make some battery chargers and power cell chargers. But yeah, don't really need power cell chargers to be fair because I've got a moon base. But a battery charger would be nice. Okay, torpedoes. That's what I'm doing. Titanium and Magnetite. So I've got four torpedoes. I could make one more, to be honest. I won't need this. Shouldn't need that. Um, I'll carry that just in case. And I want one more. So that'll be six torpedoes. That should be able to get us around for a bit. Alright. Prawn suit, 97% health. Let's just. No, it doesn't wanna. Okay. Guess not then. Let's get. Oh, I've got one gas in there. Uh, we can take that out. And yes, let's go exploring again. Save it. You never know what's going to happen. 
And I think we're going to go over here. And I would really like another module for this uh, depth module because 700 is not that much. Now, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. I want to just get an eye on him. It would be nice if my scanner room could uh, scan for the Vythons. That would be pretty cool. Ah, there you are. Did that even chase you? That did absolutely nothing. Okay, he seems to be going on these little walkabouts. So, so are we. And what is around here? Oh, another little cave system. So I do know that this area is sort of like one of the last areas in the game that you need to explore. I heard there's a fabricator cavern or something like that, cave system. So that's interesting, but I don't think we can make it to there with this depth module. Okay, some copper there, some titanium, lithium, and more kyanite. I will grab all the kyanite I can. Still going deeper. And I'm not too worried about my my power source Sifa because I have the thermal reactor thing that charges my reactor firmly. Okay, so that's deep. That is very deep. So I think we need to get the other module because this is pretty much as far as I can go about getting hull damage. Okay. So at least we managed to build a base down here. We tested out the gas torpedoes on this uh, Shadow Leviathan and we realized it absolutely does nothing at all. Whoops. Yep, okay. Um, so I think on the next episode, we're gonna, I'm gonna have the depth module by then. And we are gonna go as deep as we can. And as far as we can with this uh, pawn suit. And what I'll do, I, might, I may detach some of the um, modules on my sea truck and carry that as far as possible as well. Because there's no point walking all the way there when I'm sure we can dodge this Leviathan and use um, the sea truck to get us as far as possible. But yeah, thank you for watching guys and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.